Namaste all, welcome to class 38. Now let's start today's session. First sit in any comfortable meditating position. If it is possible to sit in Vajrasana, try to sit. Now just keep your back straight, adapt chin mudra in your both hands. Your eyes should be closed gently. First relax your facial muscles. Especially relax your forehead and eyebrows. Calm down your mind. Draw your mind inward and focus on your breath. With complete awareness, just make your breath slower and deeper. Now let's start the session by chanting Omkara three times. First exhale completely, inhale deeply. Feel the resonance of Omkara. Now slowly hold your hands at your back, hold at your breast. Now stretch your neck upward as you inhale and expand your chest. Slowly bend forward as you exhale and try to touch your forehead to the floor. Offer your salutations to motherland. Slowly come up as you inhale. Release your hands and rub your palms each other. Make your palms warm. Give cup shape to your palms and place it on the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Release your hands slowly. With few blinks, slowly open your eyes and look at your palms. Release. Now slowly stretch your legs forward. Last week, uh, we did a, I mean, in the last class, we did a practice which is uh, called as uh, Bahya Kumbhaka. Here, we'll do, based on that, we'll do the next practice which is called as Bahya Kumbhaka with Udhyana Bandha. Here, uh, and this practice generally called as Udhyana Bandha. 
here there are many uh, you know two variations one is this practice is done in the sitting position and as well as in the standing position as well so standing position will act as a preparatory once you are comfortable in the, doing udhyana bandha in standing position then you can uh, do in the sitting position okay here in this practice first i'll demonstrate in the standing position it's same as you know it's based on bahya kumbhaka itself you should exhale and then do this practice now initially i told you right there are three bandhas one is jalandhara bandha udhyana bandha and uh, mula bandha so this chin lock is called as jalandhara bandha just touching chin to the chest and udhyana bandha we are going to do today okay chin lock abdominal lock and ns lock today we are going to do abdominal lock here in the standing variation the position will be like this you should keep your legs in uh, two and a half feet apart or else keep your legs in the shoulder level little bit away from the shoulder level and then you should place your palms on the knees here same thing you should inhale through nose and exhale completely through mouth and then you should do chin lock and then you should suck your abdominal muscles in okay before what we were doing is just we were exhaling and holding the breath and here you should exhale fully and then you should pull your core uh, abdominal muscles in it will be like this you see inhalation through nose exhalation through mouth we'll do chin lock you should breathe normally once your breath comes to the normal you can go to the second round initially you can do for uh, 5 to 10 seconds and later on you can increase for 10 to 15 seconds like that so up to your capability you can uh, do this practice and um, <clears throat> and the benefits of this practice is one is it will strengthens the abdominal muscles and also improves the blood circulation to the abdomen region and it's also very good for improvising the digestive capacity these are the primary benefits there are many you know advanced level of uh, benefits as well <coughs> so once you become comfortable uh, doing udhyana bandha in the standing position then you can uh, get into a sitting position better this uh, in class 38 and 39 will practice in uh, standing position itself and in class 40 we'll get into the sitting position of uh, abdominal breathing sorry uh, abdominal lock okay first uh, you can pause this video and uh, do this practice for uh, five counts that means inhalation exhalation fully you should pull your core muscles here common mistake is you know there is a slight difference between bahya kumbhaka and udhyana bandha in bahya kumbhaka just exhalation usually what we'll think is just bahya kumbhaka as a udhyana bandha and then we'll keep on practicing the same you see here when you exhale also after the muscles will reach here in udhyana bandha will move further you should take control on the abdominal muscles and pull it in it's not just this one there's difference between this this one we have done previously now what we are going to do is we'll pull further pulling in is abdominal lock or uh, udhyana bandha you can pause this video and uh, do it for five times With, uh, between each lock you should breathe normally and then you should go get into the second round okay and uh, once you are done with this then uh, get into the next loosening practices you can sit and relax for a few period of time <coughs> once you are done with five rounds you should sit and relax your breath should come to the normal now slowly open your eyes and uh, day by day you should keep on improvising the duration of the lock initially you can manage to do 5 to 5 seconds 6 seconds so day by day you should improvising the lock as you you know because it takes mastery over this practice the next upcoming practice will be easier for you okay yeah now 
we should just sit in Sukhasana. Now place your left palm on the right knee, right hand strike your spine, twist your body to the right, look back and stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands forward as you inhale, right palm on the left knee and twist your body to the left and stay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands forward as you inhale, drop your hands. Now slowly come to the standing position, stand in Tadasana. Now keep your legs in the shoulder width apart. Place your palms on the waist and touch your thumbs each other. Forward and backward bending. One as you inhale, push your waist front, expand your chest and put your head back. Two as you exhale, slowly come up and bend forward. Three, inhale. Four, exhale. Five, breathe in. Six, breathe out. Seven, inhale. Eight, exhale. Nine, breathe in. Ten, breathe out. Eleven, inhale, bend back and stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come up. Place your palms on the knees, bend your head. Just relax your waist. Slowly come back to standing position. Waist rotation, palms on the waist. Start one, as you inhale, take your waist front. As you exhale, you should take it back. Two, inhale front, exhale back. Three, breathe in front, breathe out. Four, inhale front. Exhale back, five, breathe in front, breathe out back. Opposite direction, one, inhale front, exhale back, two, back, three, four, five, release. Now just keep your legs in three and a half feet apart, your feet should be parallel to each other. Now stretch your hands in the shoulder level, bend forward, alternate or touching, one twist, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now slowly come up. Now, side stretch, left palm on the waist, lift your right hand up, as you exhale, slowly bend to the left, two, bend to the right, three, bend left, four, bend right, five, left, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, bend and stay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, bend opposite and stay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, come up as you inhale, exhale. Now keep your legs in shoulder width apart. Stretch your hands forward, upper body twisting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी रिलीज शोड रोटेशन प्लेज योर फिंगर टिप्स ऑन द शोड जॉइंट्स स्टेट वन मेक बिग सर्कल इन हेल अप एंड एक्सेल डाउन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव Now stretch your hands forward. Make fist to the palm. Breast rotation. One, two, three, four, five. Opposite. One, two, three, four, five. Finger exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold your hands at your back. Neck exercise. Bend your head. Touch your chin to chest. One. Stretch your neck up as you inhale. Two. Bend your head as you exhale. Three. Inhale. Stretch your neck up. Four. Exhale. Bend your head. Five. Breath in. Stretch your neck up. Six. Breath out. Bend your head. Bring your head to the neutral position, sideward. One, turn your neck to the right. Two, turn your neck to the left. Three, turn right. Four, turn left. Five, turn right. Six, turn left. Bring your head to the neutral position. Release your hands. Next, bra uh, next practice is called as uh, tiger breathing. Uh, in some schools of yoga, it is also called as uh, cat camel breathing. A variation of cat camel breathing. Here, uh, just watch the practice once. It's similar to the uh, class uh, 36 practice what we did. So here, <coughs> you should come on your knees. And then here you should lift your right knee. As you exhale, you should bend your head and bring your forehead closer to your knee. And then as you inhale, you should lift your leg up and then look forward. Exhalation, bring your forehead closer to the knee. Inhalation, you should take it up. And here it's not you know uh, compulsory or mandatory to touch, to touch your forehead to your knee. Okay, but don't kick like this. Okay. You bring it closer as much as you can, but don't kick or don't take any momentum or don't uh, you know make too much of force for this. Just bring your forehead closer to the knee, and then as you inhale, you should just stretch your leg up. Exhalation, inhalation. Okay. Well, uh, get into the practice first. So first, come on your knees, and then place your palms on the floor. You can point your uh, toes back. If you feel too much imbalance, if you and then you can tuck your toes in and practice. Okay. So just lift your right knee. As you exhale, bring your forehead closer to the knee. As you inhale, slowly lift it up. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, exhale, six, inhale, exhale, seven, inhale, Exhale, eight, inhale, exhale, nine, inhale, exhale, ten, inhale, exhale, relax. Now just sit in Vajrasana and relax your body.
with complete awareness once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation release slowly open your eyes now we'll do the same to the left leg position you can just lift your knee one as you exhale bring your forehead closer to your knee inhale two exhale inhale three exhale inhale four exhale inhale five exhale inhale six exhale inhale seven exhale inhale eight exhale inhale nine exhale inhale ten exhale inhale relax sit in vajrasana again few blinks slowly open your eyes now we we'll get into the practice of uh, surya namaskara come to the standing position join your both legs stand the front portion of the mat you should adapt namaskara mudra start hastottanasana lift your hands up push your waist rise up your sternum and bend back hasta parasana slowly bend forward keep your knees should be uh, your knees should be straight and bend your head ek parasana right leg back knee on the floor stretch your neck and look forward dvipada prasthanasana make your body straight and look forward shashank hasana knees on the floor hips on your heels and bend your head sashtanga place your knee chest chin or forehead on the floor lift your waist up bhujangasana expand your chest and stretch your neck bhudarasana press your heels on the floor and bend your head shashanka knees on the floor and hips on your heels ekapada right leg front push your waist down and stretch your neck hastapadasana keep your knees straight and bend your head urdhvasana hastapadasana left leg back dvipada prasthanasana shashank sashtanga bhujangasana bhudarasana shashank hasana left leg front hastapadasana urdhvasana padasana right leg back dvipada prasranasana shashankhasana sashtanga bhujangasana bhudarasana shashankhasana right leg front hastapadasana urdhvasana hastapadasana left leg back dvipada shashanka sashtanga bhujangasana bhudarasana shashankhasana left leg front hastapadasana urdhvasana hastapadasana right leg back 
Vipada, Shashanka, Sashtanga, Bujanga, Bhudara, Shashanka, right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdhvasana, Hastapadasana, left leg back, Dvipada, Shashanka, Sashtanga, Bujanga, Bhudara, Shashanka, Left Front, Hastapadasana, Urdhvasana, Hastapadasana, Right Leg Back, Dvipada, then Satsuri Namaskara, Sashtanga, Bujangasana, Bhudarasana, right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdhvasana, Hastapadasana, left leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bujangasana, Bhudarasana, Left leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdhvasana, Hastapadasana, Right leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bujanga, Bhudaya, Right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdhvasana, Astapadasana, Left leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bujanga, Bhudaya, Left front, Hastapadasana, Urdhvasana, Astapadasana, Right leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bujanga, Bhudaya, Right leg front, Hastapadasana, Last round, Urdhvasana, stay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hastapadasana. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Left leg back. Ekapada. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Dvipada. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sashtanga. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bujanga. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bhudara. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Left leg front. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hastapada. 10, 9, 8, 7, Once you are done with 12 rounds of Surya Namaskara, you should just sit and uh, relax for a while. That means till your breath comes to the normal, you should just sit and relax. 
and then once you relax then you resume this video and then uh, we'll get into the practice so here uh, the practice what we are going to do is a somewhat acting as a preparatory for many of the upcoming asanas so here uh, the position today's practice will be like this the same you should come to ekapadasana position what we have done before so for all the key points you should stretch your right leg to the maximum extent you should follow all the key points and then just you should slide your left foot in and then place your left hip on the floor and then you should adjust in such a way that you see your left hip and your right thigh maximum surface of your right thigh should be placing on the floor usually this is the common tendency either your body weight moves completely to the left or left hip or else we'll lift the hip and then we'll shift it to the right thigh like this so here left hip will be lifted so here the main key point here is your left hip and right thigh both the things should be placing on the floor day by day you can take time but you should work in such a way your left hip and maximum surface of your right thigh should be placing on the floor and stay you may feel intense stretch at your hip and your thigh so initially this will happen but day by day practicing it should uh, get into best practice based on this we can get into the next upcoming postures okay so we'll uh, get into the practice first first all of you come to the same ekapadasana position you can take your right leg back and left leg front stretch your right leg to the maximum extent follow all the key points of ekapadasana and then just take your left foot in and then bring your knee straight to the palms and then your right leg should be stretched to the maximum extent it should not be like this you should take your right knee to the maximum extent now make sure your heel is perpendicular to the floor it should not be turning like this okay now adjust yourself just give a slight twist to the left and make sure you are touching your left hip on the floor try to touch maximum surface of your thigh and then your waist should be twisted and it should be kept straight close your eyes and breathe one Two, three, four. Feel the stretch. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can just point your toe back. Maintain the same waist position. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 17 18 19 20 now slowly come out from the posture again stretch your leg and relax in shital dandasana legs apart put your head back close your eyes and relax your body especially relax your right thigh with complete awareness once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation with few blinks slowly open your eyes if so this is the reason i'll be uh, keep on telling don't skip the classes so if you if you practice all the things what we have done right from class 20 uh, 21 22 all these things so all those practices we have done before that will be acting as a preparatory for this one if you straight away come here then it will be very difficult to manage to this uh, do this postures so you should not skip the practices you should uh, follow all the all the practices day 21 22 23 like that you should come in a series okay don't skip the classes so now we'll get into the left now slowly take your right leg front and left leg back stretch your left leg to the maximum extent push your waist down follow all the key points of ekapadasana and then just slide your right foot to the left 
and try to place your right hip and maximum surface of your left thigh correct your hip position your both shoulders should be pointing forward okay this shoulder it should not be like this okay it should be straight one two three four five six seven eight nine ten without changing the waist position just point your toe back and stay eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty now slowly take a right leg back and relax in makarasana just lie on your back legs apart turn your feet outward palms on your shoulders and relax Now slowly open your eyes. Next practice is called as Ekapada Urdhva Mukeshwana. Here you should just tuck your toes in and then you should place your palms, first you should stretch your hands forward. You should place your palms in a uh, uh, in few classes before we did an asana which is called as Urdhva Mukeshwana asana. This is one of the variation of uh, that Urdhva Mukeshwana. It's very similar to Bhujanga asana but you should lift your knees and thighs in this practice here you should place your palms somewhere in between your uh, chest and abdominal muscles uh, i mean chest and navel center so try to the ribs you should be placing in bhujangasana we place try to the chest but here it should be placing slightly back and then you should lift your chest up and then you should tighten your knees and lift your just up and then you should push your shoulders down, lift up your clavicular and your knees should be straight, you should lift your knees and thighs off the floor, you should look up and here in today's variation just you should point your toe back and stay. Only will be uh, balancing on the left and just you should, from this position just you should point your toe back and stay. Okay, well get into the practice, first place your palms somewhere in between your chest and your navel palms at both the sides now start lifting your chest up make your hands straight tighten your knees and lift your knees and thighs off the floor push your shoulders down rise up your clavicular put your head back now just point your right toes back and stay one two expand your chest three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Slowly release and relax in Makarasana. Legs apart, turn your feet outward. Relax. Just relax your body. Once you relax, inhale deeply. And then slow exhalation. Slowly open your eyes. Now we'll go to the left. 
Now join your legs again. Tuck your toes in. Place your palms somewhere in between chest and your navel. Palms at both the sides. Now slowly lift your chest up. Tighten knees and lift your knees and thighs. Expand your chest, push your shoulders down. Lift up your clavicular. Both the knees should be straight. Now just point your left toes back and stay. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, balance 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. Release and relax in Makarasana again. Legs apart, turn your feet outward, palms on the shoulders, chin on your forearm, relax your body. Relax your legs, arms, shoulders, triceps and neck region. with complete awareness once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation now place your palms at both the sides of the chest slowly come up and relax in Shashankasana As inhale. Now just stretch your legs forward. Next practice is called Pashuvishtamasana. Here in Pashuvishtamasana, you should just fold your left leg and then you should point your toes outward. That means your big toe and your heel should be touching on the floor. It will be like this and then you should fold your right leg and place it on the left and then you should place your left palm on the right knee and you should twist your body and here if you are uh, right leg in this position to the 90 degree you, are, you should touch your forehead you see it should be like this exactly 90 degree if your leg is in this position, your forehead should be placed exactly to the 9th degree. You should twist and bend forward. First, touch your forehead on the floor. And then you should start stretching your left hand forward. And if it is possible, try to place your chest on the floor, chest and chin on the floor and stay. Here the common mistake what happens is, we'll turn one side and we'll be doing like this. You see this this left part of the I mean if you are twisting to the right your left part of the chest will be lifting this is the common tendency so use this right palm to resist the movement to the opposite side that's the reason we are stretching only left hand not the right so we'll twist this palm will resist you to move to the other side so here right palm will be in the same position just you should stretch your left hand forward you should maintain the twist and try to take touch your even left part of the chest on the floor okay we'll uh, get into the practice first fold your left leg and take it towards left point your toes outward your big toe and your heel should be touching to the floor fold your right leg place it on the left left palm on the right knee twist your body to the right and then shift your both palms on the floor twist your body now start folding your elbows and first try to touch your forehead on the floor and then by maintaining the twist slide and if it is possible touch your chest and chin and then you should stretch your left hand forward 
maintain that twist and stay in the position one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty palms at both the sides of the chest slowly come up as you inhale and stretch your legs forward here this lock is also very much important sometimes we'll lose this lock once you lose the stretch at your waist will get radius so uh, for all these points when you're doing practice now we'll do to the opposite side now you should just fold your right leg and take it towards right make sure your big toe and your heel is touching on the floor left foot on the right now place your right palm on the left knee and twist your body to the left first and then you should place both the palms on the floor by extending your spine start bending forward first try to touch your forehead on the floor if it is possible go to chest and chin you can stretch your right hand forward try to place your chest on the floor stretch your right hand breathe 20 19 18 17 18 19 20 3 two, 1 slowly come out from the posture and release now stretch your legs forward relax in shuttle and shuttle dandasana few blinks slowly open your eyes now we'll do 10 rounds of pavana mudra kriya asana you should just fold your both legs catch hold your legs roll on your spine for 10 counts start 1 2 3 4 this class also will uh, repeat the same practice which we have done before uh, it is called as uh, supta konasana same moving to halasana and uh, stretching your hands over the head and holding the big toes the same practice will be doing uh, this the uh, this week as well so here hope you all know the practice so we'll do uh, together so just Hold your legs. Place your palms on the floor. Those who don't know, you can just watch the practice and then we can do together. Okay. Now slowly, you should lift your legs by pressing your palms on the floor. Lift your waist and try to place your toes over the head. Then slowly shift your hands over the head. Try to catch hold your big toes. If it is possible, spread your legs. and stay in a position your knee should be straight 20 19 18 17 18 19 
एटीन सेवेंटीन सिक्सटीन फिफ्टीन फोर्टीन थर्टीन ट्वेल्व इलेवन टेन नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन स्लोली रिलीज रिलैक्स Just relax your back and neck region. Now slowly open your eyes. Now. नेक्स्ट आसना इज ऑल्सो रिपिटेशन वे आर गोइंग टू डू मत्स्या आसना आई शुड कम टू द क्रॉस लेग पोजिशन एंड देन दो डोंट नो यू कैन वॉच वन एंड देन यू कैन डू विथ मी योर यू शुड प्लेस योर थाम्स एट बो द साइड्स ऑफ योर हेड यू शुड जस्ट लिफ्ट योर शोल्डर्स एंड अपर बैक एंड ट्राई टू टच टॉप ऑफ द हेड ऑन द फ्लोर एंड स्टे इन अ पोजिशन सो फर्स्ट कम टू द क्रॉस लेग थाम्स एट बो द साइड्स ऑफ द हेड ना जस्ट Lift your upper back and slide top of the head on the floor and stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty. Slow release and relax. Last practice, Markatasana. You should stretch your hands in the shoulder level. Now fold your both legs. Here, as you exhale, you should twist to the right and turn your face to the left. Two, inhale up. Exhale, twist to the left. Three, breathe in up. Breathe out, twist right. Four, inhale up. Exhale, twist left. Five, twist right. Six, twist left. Seven. Twist right. Eight. Twist left. Nine. Twist right. Ten. Twist left. Eleven. Twist right and stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift. Twist left and stay. Ten. बॉडी पाम्स शुड बी फेसिंग अपवर्ड आईस शुड बी क्लोज जेंटली Just loosen your whole body. Loosen all the muscles from tip of your toes to top of your head. Just calm down your mind as well.
just feel and enjoy the relaxation. Now just draw your mind inward and focus on your breath flow. Just feel the incoming and outgoing breath. With complete awareness, once inhale deeply. And then slow exhalation. Now let's come out from Shavasana step by step. With complete awareness, just give movement to your toes. Slowly give movement to your ankles. Shake your both legs together. Give movement to your fingers. Wrist, both hands together. Now just turn your neck to the right, slowly turn your neck to the left, bring your head to the neutral position, join your both legs, hands close to your body, stretch your right hand over the head, left palm on your abdomen, slowly fold your left leg, by pressing left foot on the floor, roll right side, rest your head on the right bicep and relax your body again. Slowly come up by placing left palm in front of chest and by taking support of your right elbow and right palm. Just sit in any comfortable meditating position. Your back should be straight, eyes should be closed. Now let's conclude the session by chanting one Omkara and three Shantis. Slowly adapt Namaskara Mudra, join your palms each other. Inhale deeply. Om Shanti 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 Slowly hold your hands at your back, hold at your breast. Stretch your neck upward as you inhale and expand your chest. Slowly bend forward as you exhale and try to touch your forehead to the floor. Offer your salutations to Mother Land. Slowly come up as you inhale. Release your hands and rub your palms each other. Make your palms warm. Give a cup shape to your palms and place it on the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Release your hands slowly and look at your palms. Release. Have a nice day. Thank you all. Thank you.